During roll call seems to me to be the worst time. That's the time when people sit on these tables and rock on them and cause that unnecessary breakage. Now starting next year I'd like to have a whole set of furniture that's in fir first rate order. First rate condition. And remember it's got to last until the end of next year before we can possibly get repairs done. I should say the furniture people were fairly happy with the condition of most rooms. Liz and I are the only ones who are going steady in the group. We've been going steady for about four months now. On Friday nights we go to the pool room where most of the kids in Lithgow go. Uh, we roller skate, play pool and the pinball machines. We just sing, dance and that, just muck around. I'm 15 and my sister Cheryl's 13. She comes everywhere we go. I don't spend much time with Liz. We're usually all together as a group. If you're both at school and you see it every day of the week, you get kind of have more arguments, you know what I mean? And like I only see her, say, during the weekend and that, and I ring her up every night. And that way I seem to get on better with her. When we go out by ourselves, like, it's really not the same. When you've got all your friends there, it's a lot, lot more humour in it there. Oh, well, in our group, we chuck laps slow way, like... We walk, we might um, run down the street, go okay, find a bit crazy, you know, just run around touching the signs, trying to see who can touch the signs and that. But the guys in the cars, like, they don't go nowhere else either. They like, just chuck laps the main street in the car and sit outside a cafe or something like that. They just do the same as us, except we're walking. Oh, a lot of people just think, oh, might be a big brawl up the street, like there is usually in Mifco. There'll be a fight outside a pub or something like that. And well, there's a lot of car smashes. I'm 13 and I've been taking out girls since I was about in fifth class, uh, taking girls out to the pitches and parties and things like that. When I went steady, a couple of them lasted for not very long, one or two lasted for a couple of months. I like Brett ever since we were in third class and I never got to go with him till we were in high school, but nothing serious happened. I wasn't going with him really long enough. Oh, well, it was at school one day and he must have just got sick of me and he broke it off with me. I still liked him and I was crying at school and people are saying just forget about him and you'll end up with somebody else much nicer and all that. Before I even went with him, I reckon he was about the nicest kid in first form. <laughs> when I called Love of Cheryl, I wasn't sure what she'd think about it. I just, it's just that I was sort of sick of her. And at the time, I didn't really feel like going with a girl then. No, I've never been in love with a girl I've taken out any. I think Les was in love with Kink because of the way he talked about her and... I've had dreams about girls and, and girls in magazines and that. There's lots of different ones. Uh, the dreams are something would have never happened, not only, and 
nothing with it. What I would do, I think, get married and stuff like that to the girls I dream of or something. I wouldn't like to go out for a girl if she's uh, dirty and plays around with other, other boys and just offers herself to anyone, things like that. She hear about things if if she's dirty or anything. Hear about it of other people. Oh. <laughs> oh, <you think? laughs> the other girls in the group are. If they get a boyfriend while they're in our group, they usually go off with him. And when that when their relationship breaks up, they come back to our group. And then just wait, and when they get another boyfriend, they go off again. <laughs> I think the chicks around Lithgow do what their guy wants them to do because they're frightened they'll lose him. But most of them just expect the girl to do what they want to do. If the girl doesn't want to, they just, you know, kind of drop them, forget about them, crack up. Talk about him. concert with Kim, the first band that come on, she just danced. As soon as John Paul Young come on, Carmel and Kim just stood there, didn't move, just sit there, stood there staring. And when a girl sits there staring, you always know that she's flipped. She liked the way he moves. When we're sitting up the taxi rink, I tried a bit of the movement he does. <laughs> didn't turn her on any. But the thing is that I think that she was flipped over him is the way, the way John Paul Young dresses and that. Oh, I know a lot of kids that, you know, they've got to have intercourse. So every weekend, right? Like, that's kids with panel bands and all that, but you don't really need it. Sometimes, the way Kim touches me, rubbing around the neck and that, just like turn John. Different girls like you, uh, you know, playing with their private spots, you know what I mean? Other girls don't. If she wasn't on the pill, a wet check, something like that. Like I know a lot of mates that they'd have them and just buy it off them and that. You feel a bit embarrassed going to a chemist, but usually guys and girls, they don't worry about it. A lot of kids these days are pregnant before they're even married. Well, I would want to marry Kim. If I ever got her pregnant, I would want to marry her. If I didn't have a job, no, I'd, I'd try and do something about it. But if I had a job, I'd try, yeah. It never lasts. There's always a new guy that comes along. If you're with him too much, you get sick of him. Most of us are around the same age. You know, we all do the same thing, so we just hang around together. But my sister, she done that too. And then when she got her boyfriend and she finally got engaged, she just went off with herself. She did the same things as what we're doing now. So 
so I reckon that we'll end up just going off by ourselves later. <laughs> Most girls would rather boyfriends with cars because the guys can take them where they want to go or go to their place, pick them up from work and school and places like that. It feels good to be in a car after you've been walking for a long time. 